Right, so a little video about what we've got on today in the workshop. <clears throat> this uh, Disco 2 Auto TD5, completely standard, still got its EGR, still got its cat. Going to be doing a stage one on it. So when we're done today, we will go for a little road test in this. But what else have we got in the workshop today? So a 110 here, so which has had some uh, drivetrain issues and uh, some refurbishments have been going on. Rear diff, front diff, shafts, and also a, uh, a refurbished transfer box as well, alongside a full service with a vehicle, filters, fluids throughout. So nice to see a customer investing in his uh, work vehicle there. Also got a uh, Volvo on the ramp and uh, issues with the Haldex. So that's gone off for refurbishment. My car also sat on the ramp, prepared and ready. Uh, did a, uh, had a successful event at Cadwell. Didn't win, we never thought we could. We did a good lap time. So happy with where the car is at the minute. Next one's Brands Hatch. Uh, the other side of the shop, we've got Des. So I don't usually talk about Des. Leave this one for Martin. But I believe this weekend he's actually racing that. So pretty much prepared. All the work there from the last event that was required. Bit of service work, I think it was. No doubt there'll be a video uh, where Martin will tell you about what is going on with that one. So yeah, back to the job here then. So TD5 for a stage one. As always, using the power flash. Already done the, di the diagnostics on the vehicle. Typical TD5, needed an airflow meter. So briefed the, uh, the customer about that and, uh, and and uh, I fitted a, a new MAF, checked it, made sure it's working. So just about to do the mapping and we'll go for a road test. So that's the map loaded onto the ECU. The vehicle's now running. What we want to do is look at some data now. So I've already selected some parameters. So I'm happy with those. The ECU's, uh, well, the, the laptop is now logged in. Information from the ECU. Ideal for a scenario where we get back from a road test, perhaps if there's uh, something wrong with the vehicle, we've got that data should we need it. Um, at a glance, whilst we are driving the vehicle, I can obviously look at boost pressure, temperatures of uh, various parameters. But yeah, that's the mapping uh, installed. Just change you so that you're looking at me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, and we'll go out for a road test. So I've already road tested this one earlier this morning. <clears throat> and confirm. It is a stock vehicle. It certainly drove like it was a stock vehicle. So these auto discos can actually go quite well when they are remapped. And something as simple as just a stage one can bring them, really bring them up to speed. It already feels more responsive, just, just that little bit of throttle input. Yes, we have fitted a new airflow meter on it as well, so that, was, that will help, of course. But We'll just build some temperature up into the vehicle and uh, make sure it's boosting and, and fueling and delivering power correctly. It feels loads better, way better than it did do earlier on. So leaving the industrial estate now, if you don't know where a live tuning is, Fairfield Industrial Estate in Louth, Lincolnshire. Pretty much in the centre of the estate. Oh, thanks for indicating, mate. Thanks.
So 96,000 miles on this disco. And drives nice. Chassis still tight. Transmission axles feel good. Brakes feel good on it. So just easing on the throttle and uh, building up some speed quite uh, quite easily. Let's give it a squirt. Being an auto disco, it does sound like it's revving to the moon. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely better than it was this morning. And I don't think it's right. I don't think that's right at all. Beautiful. So when I say it doesn't seem right, this should accelerate harder than it is doing. Definitely should be accelerating harder. So we'll pop back to the shop, look at the logs from the power flash, see if we can figure out what's going on. One point one bar. Does it need a boost modulator? Maybe. Maybe it just needs a boost modulator. Let's get back to the shop and get it figured out. Stay tuned. <laughs> 